Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a weekly reading. Give them the messages that they deserve from you. All right, let's see. What do we want to tell Gemini this week? Okay, the Queen of Cups. Uh, something about singing, talent, knowing that you have something to share with the world. You having a layered personality, putting something out there, creative endeavor, uh, listening to your intuition, getting download, maybe for song, songwriting is what I'm hearing. Um, just going within, being recluse, not giving anything out, but you will give good advice though, because you're not attached to the outcome. The Ten of Swords, that's your energy. You could be kind of feeling this way because you've already been disappointed by masculine energy. You got stabbed in your back. You got hurt. You got... um betrayed or betrayal something about this masculine energy acting overly dramatic about maybe the ending or about what you said or what you did or being done you putting yourself first let's see what else listening to your intuition your gut told you something about this relationship the five of wands that maybe this was some love affair that this person didn't really want to put a lot of energy effort into the ten of pentacles that somebody already had a family or somebody was already committed elsewhere um the five of pentacles no the five of wands it's like if you do have a family it's like somebody trying to cause discord disruption in your family the three of swords there was a divorce or a separation the three of wands it's about cooperating together coming together togetherness putting something out there presenting it to the world also hoping you know to get good feedback something coming back to you Something you put out to the world, something somebody's putting out to the world, good feedback or three of swords alienating, isolating you or isolating themselves. This is real messy. It's like a family is isolating themselves or the children or iso icing you out or you ice somebody out or divorcing or separating. You don't want to be involved in it. The king of swords. Yeah, um, you could be dealing with maybe Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra. Six of swords, somebody's moving on. You ask somebody to move out, move on, or you're moving on. You've made sense of moving on from this relationship. This could be you. You kind of cut off to your emotions. You're trying to move on or do the right thing. This also, you could be getting help in terms of how to move on, let it go. This could even be legal advice. This could be a lawyer. This could be someone in the court, court system. This is judgment here, uh, waiting for a judgment, waiting for something to be rendered, wanting forgiveness, wanting to so for someone to forgive you, absolve you again, Scorpio energy, let something go, let it be not coming back together. So it looks like we got some Gemini's dealing with family dynamics where y'all in the courts, y'all trying to figure out, you know, um, her paternity or rights to children or you know, maybe even visitation rights. Yeah, visitation rights or something of that nature. And then some of you have somebody where you cut some person off um, that wasn't divorced or separated. They were already in a marriage or committed. They wanted to have you as a fling. This person can't believe that you would walk away. You would separate from them. Some of you want to get some injunction or some type of paperwork on what somebody is putting out to the world, what they're posting. Uh, you're tired of always waiting for a response. You always have a middle woman or a middle man in regards to your family or your children. The Six of Wands looks like you're going to be successful in whatever it is you try to um, get accomplished. Take the high road, high ground. Walk away from petty, toxic, playful banter, back and forth, drama, seven of cups. Walk away from maybe the Scorpio who wants you to be in some fantasy, some type of illusion. To always be resting on wishful thinking when it comes to them and not be in reality. So that's what you could be leaving. Somebody who was playing with you. The moon card kept you in a place of um, disillusionment, lying to yourself and others. Um, but you were having vivid dreams about what they were doing or what they weren't doing. What they were planning. 
the moon card could be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio again coming up uh this is also somebody who was this lying outright lying keep they wanted to keep you in confusion yeah keep you in confusion keep you in the dark this was two people trying to come together two very different people five another five five of swords showing up this was um temperance card this is somebody who there was like heavy argument fights saying things you didn't mean this the temperance card is directly related to the king of cups so it could have been a cancer pisces scorpio who put you in a place of you know coming out of character saying things you don't mean arguing fighting drama yeah the devil card toxicity low vibration third party situation um, having to curse them out, you being cursed out, someone saying tough things to you, someone treating you unfair, putting you at a place of disadvantage also. Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords. Um, so this would be somebody was acting like they were the family guy or family man or the two of somebody's acting like they've changed or that they, they're gonna go through some change but they really aren't. Um they hope that you don't see it. They hope that you forgive. They want you to bury your head in the sand and just continue to be in this relationship with them. It don't change your mind about them with the will of fortune. It looks like maybe you ghosted this and you left this or you you having a transition of your personality coming to some type of uh, awareness about what it is you need to do, how you need to grow. King of Pentacles doing something, you know, systematically maybe even walking away some of you going on some like spiritual retreat a literal one or this is like you know just really finishing this up and then moving on you're just trying to finish this relationship up and then move on gather yourself gather your emotions um let spirit speak to you for a while as to where you need to be maybe even just do stuff by yourself the justice card yeah you're gonna get some type of karma karmic debt repaid moving on balance back in your life balance back in your finances if this person was affecting your finances this person could have been manifesting off of you the fool card yeah you're going in a new direction here let's see how your person feels about you what does this person want to say to gemini the queen of wands the death card so um they see you in the spotlight they see you putting yourself out there you're getting a lot of different contracts or people coming after you or um you're in your life purpose or you're following your purpose here they see that you're going from one dynamic to the next without them yeah high priestess you're they they feel like you're the woman above all women they want you back they're going to do something big to try to pull you back in but that is the plan just to pull you back in yeah, Page of Cups. They they're coming as a page with a seven of swords. So they're gonna say the sweet nothings, but this is to master you, trick you, trickery, get you back in a place of believing. They're gonna leave you holding the bag, nine of wands, and they're not gonna be committed to you. Um, they could walk away once it gets intimate, once it gets real hot and heavy. They leave. Yeah, the star card. They can only look to you for sex, sexual activity. Um maybe even to rebuild yep sexual activity with the hangman i mean star card with the hangman so that's like looking to you for a secret sexual relationship also but they'll say anything to get you back on their team back in the fold back into some consistent you know sexual activity or consistently seeing each other back into the circle yeah this is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you. If you're done, type done down there in the comment section. Um, if you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website, book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you for being here. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Catch me live. I uh, answer your questions and I do a collective reading. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.